Hey guys, welcome back to my tier list update video. This tier list update video is going to cover over what my previous tier list was made back in October with all the new units and all the older units that got placed in higher order thanks to obtaining their manifestation weapon. So even though it's still within the parent update number of 2.2, there has been quite a few shifts and new additions added since then. So in this video, I'm going to be covering these units labeled here. I'm going to talk about Teramisu, Myris Another Style, Radius, Diedri, Annabelle Another Style, Felmina with her Manifestation Weapon, Serene with her Manifestation Weapon, Premier, Renry Another Style, Yuna Another Style, and the most recent added unit called Zaviro, which is a name to be determined for global. All right, now let's just talk about Teramisu. She is by far the top three unit in the game. In fact, she's probably the best unit to get if you want ease of use and to have ridiculous physical damage output. So she has skills that ignore the enemy's defenses which allows her to hit very high numbers and she has a low cost ability skill that easily does a fixed 150k plus guaranteed damage on a low cost skill so she's insanely valuable and she makes running ad's or story mode super easy so she is definitely a must get unit if you want a very powerful physical damage unit plus I personally like her design and she has this cool sand dragon that follows her around. Next let's talk about Myris another style. So Myris original unit is already pretty decent you know she was more of a supportive unit role and when she got her manifest weapon she jumped a few places up on the quote unquote tier list. But with her another style implemented, she's actually the hardest hitting magic damage dealer in the game. So in the last video, I said that Garyu another style was top dog. But nope, he's been dethroned with Myris another style. She has a unique stacking mechanic called Lapis Stacks that increases her damage output more and more. And when compared to Garyu another style, she does more damage than he does. So. Myris Another Style is also another unit that you could all go for as well if you are lacking in the magic damage dealing department. A unit that I also want to talk about is Radius. She's the currently the only slash zone provider in the game and she is also a very solid fire damage unit as well. There's not much else to say. Usually, generally, a, when a unit provides a unique zone, especially since she's the first unit in the game that provides a sort of a um, attribute type attack zone, it makes her very desirable. You can run like Shion, um, Sukiha, a lot of any unit that runs Slash to overall increase their damage output by a ton. So she's going to be another top unit to look into. Next we have one of the newest units, Annabelle Another Style, and I do know a lot of people were waiting for an Annabelle Another Style, including myself. And I'm glad to say that she's actually a very, very solid unit. Also one of the top physical damage units in the game as well. She is the second water zone provider in the game outside of Yuna Another Style, which is a good thing because we were worried a little bit when we just saw that they were only releasing zones to one unit. Now it seems like Wright Flyer Studios will be releasing more zone related units in the future. And with Annabelle Another Style heralding the second water zone provider, she also does a lot of damage which is scaled upon her lost health. So she'll do more damage the lower health she is. And during another force, one of her passive abilities allows her to increase her damage furthermore when you are in another force, making her one of the hardest hitting physical water units in the game. So Annabelle mains, rejoice. Next I want to talk about Thelmina. She got her manifestation weapons not too long ago, but it has really made her into a monster powerhouse. 
Now in the old video, I did say that Suzette was the queen of wind damage dealer, but Thelmina with her manifest weapon will take the new throne as queen of wind damage dealer. And on this slide, you could also see that I provided the poison lily additional effects that is added to her. Some of them are really nutty, considering that she gains 30% strength for three turns, to increasing her critical damage output, and reducing the physical resistance of the enemy, which overall makes her one of the best boss killers in the game, or in general, single target. Next, I wanted to go over Serene. She also got her manifest weapon too. And for a free-to-play unit, she's actually one of the top earth damage dealers in the game. With that said, I've included her Serpent Tail, which the name is to be determined if that is what it is for the English version. But you can see all the additional effect types that it was added for her. She is definitely more than usable, even when you get her in her base form, but her manifestation weapon just brings her up even more. And since she is free to play, it allows for anyone to have a very, very good earth damage dealer in the game. Granted, she is selfish DPS, meaning that there may be other units within the earth realm that you would want to use, such as Nagi and other style, which can also provide earth resistance down, while on top, being very, very high damage single target for herself, but take whatever you can get. This is a free unit that anyone can get pretty easily. Next, we have Deidre with her five star and manifestation form. She's actually one of the best physical attackers in the game as well. She has a self buff that increases her physical damage output by 70%. And she has a stacking physical defense debuff on a three extra large attack that scales off of her maximum health. And her manifest weapon, Fairville, also gives these additional effects to her blood cruelty and chaos saber skills. Next, we have Renry Another Style. She's my waifu and I'm very glad to see that they've done her a lot of justice. She's currently the hardest hitting fire unit in the game while providing fire critical buff uptime by 100% for her and her team. And combo with her in a fire zone, she allows the another force to last a lot longer while also providing very, very high damage output and the crucial critical buffs for her fire team. And not to mention, she can spin discs on her finger and she's hot. So that's why Renry AS is on the top of these tier lists. Next, I wanted to talk about Premiere. In my old video, I did have her as an honorable mention. At this point in time, I'm comfortable to say that she's actually a very good unit to have. So she should definitely be on one of the meta lists, albeit probably on the lower end of it but she's one of the most versatile support units in the game. She can provide resistance buffs, which includes physical resistance to a water resistance spell. And one of her abilities decreases the slash and pierce resistance on a single skill while providing extra large damage to the enemy. And it reduces those resistance by 30% as well. So she definitely fits this sort of support, but with high damage output role that is the current meta for the support units and these meta teams in another Eden. And finally, we have Zevero. He is the most newest added unit in the game. He's a water-based healer with a new mechanic that in the Japanese version is called Fear. I don't know what it's going to be called in global yet just because it's He's really new right now, but what fear essentially does is that it reduces the enemy's physical resistance, allowing for more damage output, and it actually has a cap of 50 stacks. Um, his speed is actually on the average side, I believe at max level he's at 205, so a lot of these wiki sites seems to, and the community seems to recommend going with a speed badge so he can have faster turns. and. Overall though, from what I've been hearing from some personal usage of um, from other whales and 
top players in the AE community. He himself is fairly average, but since his fear mechanic is currently very unique in terms of what we have access to as the players, it's pretty much carrying him to be one of the top new units in the game. So with that said, we can also look forward to something of the equivalency of the physical fear resistance to something of a magical resistance debuff with another unit in the future. And finally, just as a side note, there were two units that got some pretty beefy Valor Chant upgrades, and one of them was Myra's Another Style, which further increases her damage output. Insane, because now she can do a total of one extra guaranteed random earth magic attacks, and her 20% earth resistance debuff is increased from one turn to two turns. And then Yuna's Another Style, she can now increase the speed of all her allies to 40% speed for two turns instead of one turn and 30%. So yeah, that pretty much sums up this updated tier list video. There's been quite a few shifts and with a lot of the newer units and older units getting manifest weapons, the tier list has definitely shifted a bit. But like with anything, tier lists in these single player games are all subjective to change and personal bias. So if you have a favorite waifu, if you have a favorite husbando or a favorite unit that you love to run, they should be more than enough to carry you through your entire journey in another Eden. Just to make a quick recap, since there was quite a few information, I have here on these next few slides the updated look on the tier list. So with magic attackers, we have Myra's Another Style clearly on top. You know, her Another Style makes her the hardest hitting magic damage DPS out there. She outshines Gary Another Style, and her Lab and Court stacks is where it's at. Her Valor Changrasta further increases her damage output even more, which makes her the top magic damage in the game. And she's Earth too, so if you need an Earth unit, you can also get her as well. And next we have the Wind Attackers. With the updated tier list, I've only put in original Felmina on the very top. With her getting her new and shiny manifest weapon, her damage output is through the roof. She's going to be by far the highest single target damage dealer in the game, no comparison. Next we have the Earth Attackers. Quite a bit of change in this current list. I have Deidre on the very top. She's second to none other than Myra's Another Style. Once you have her Manifest Weapon at max, both two of her most powerful skills, Chaos Saber and Blood Cruelty, gets both huge buffs, and her damage output increases further when she is at maximum health. And we still have Nagi Another Style really up there. You know, she's still one of the hardest hitting units in the game, and she provides that Earth Resistance debuffs, which really enables her to bring forth a lot more than just damage in Earth teams. And I also have Premiere added since the last tier list video, and she just has all the support and attack skills that really lets her be more versatile in combat, and that therefore she's able to fit into teams better because she has all of these things going for her. And I also have Serene in the list too. Can't forget about her great free to play option unit for anyone that already has her. And with her free manifest weapon at maximum level, she is one of the hardest hitting earth attack units in the game. Just know that she is more of a selfish DPS, so she may not be able to stick around too much if you have the other units in this list. But if you don't, she is definitely going to be the unit to go for if you are free to play. Next, we just have the water attackers, Annabelle another style, rightfully claiming her place on top. You know, she, not only does she provide that water zone, which is a very great thing to have in a unit currently in another Eden, she hits extremely hard and her damage output is further increased when she's in another force and the lower health she is. You know, you really want to be using her Daylight Breaker and her Azure Saber skills to push out tons of damage. And a weapon that is suggested for her to use is actually Gojen Sword, which is obtained through beating the land avatar to further increase her damage output since the sword increases damage output when she's at 50% health or lower. Hisumin is still going to be up there. She's just very easy to use and her damage output is very very solid. 
and for this part I do have Zevero on this list. He's also considered a neutral and support, but his main attribute is water. It's a little bit too hard to tell exactly where he's going to be placed at the moment, but he still seems to be a solid unit mainly because of the new mechanic he brings, the fear mechanic pushing him to the current list where he's at right now. And we have the fire attackers here, Renry and other style, queen of fire DPS, the Chinese tourist bikini look. Um, what can I say, she's the hardest hitting fire unit. Her blazing dance sets up for high damage where she stacks up disc bombs and then when you use her axe burning it consumes disc bomb while giving her flare passion which increases her self critical hit and the critical rate for all her allies by 100% which is insane value. Radius is a fantastic unit. She's the slash zone provider currently in the game and a lot of her skills also decrease the enemy's power and intelligence. Her Crimson Blast scales with pain if you have any pain appliers and Sword of Hope keeps enemy damage numbers in check by debuffing their power and intelligence. Overall, a very, very solid unit. And Garyu, another style, still up there. Great free to play option, guys. And he's also the current only fire zone unit provider in the game. So please try to get him when he does come out. And last but not least, we have the neutral attackers. Tiramusu is currently the top damage dealer in the game simply because she can ignore that enemy defense. Her fixed 150k plus damage from Dragon Ceremony allows her to really make easy for all the enemy encounters that she gets. So you really want to get her if uh, when she comes out. And Tsubami's still up there, Renry's still up there. The only new addition is probably Shion in another style. I know while he's fire, but he's also considered neutral with his slash attribute attacks. He's just up there because he can really help push another force and keep it going for a long time. So I do have him overtake Cyrus from the last tier list update video. But anyways, that is it for the recap. Guys, I hope you guys found this video very informative and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.